Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got kind of a different type of video. I'm going to be doing a first impressions of New Look's new makeup range. So I went into the store and I saw that they had rebranded and repackaged some of the items but majority of it is new. So I wanted to give it a go and I thought I'd film this to show you what I think. So I went in New Look and got quite a few bits to try for you. I haven't opened any of it so this literally is going to be the first time I've tried it on my face. So I've already primed and moisturised my skin so I'm just going to put my hair back in my hairband and then I will begin. Okay so now I've got my headband in, my hair's straight back a little bit off my face so let's get started. So first of all I'm going to try the flawless foundation and contour stick. I got this in the shade porcelain, normally I'm ivory but the light beige looked a bit too dark for my skin so I'm not sure if this is going to be too light but we will give it a shot. And this was $4.99. Hear that? I don't normally use foundation sticks, I like to use liquid foundation, it's very rare that I use a cream. So I could have got the liquid but I thought why not, let's try the stick um, and see what I think. So I'm just going to put this all over. I don't know how much you have to use for a stick, I think it would be quite a lot still. I can tell at the moment, I think this is going to be quite medium to full coverage and um, we will see. I look like some warrior. <laughs> it looks like warrior paint. So I'm just going to use a damp blending bud just to blend this out and we'll see how it blends. Okay straight away I can see that it is actually blending really well. It's going quite patchy though. Um, I'm not sure if I like this. Yeah, it's gone really patchy on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little patchy. Let me try with a brush. I'm just going to use my overall foundation brush and see if that. Oh, and now there's like a lot on here. Mm. I think this would definitely be better for contouring with not necessary for foundation. Mm. Yeah, you can see all the streaks. It doesn't blend into your skin, like it doesn't melt. I am not a fan of this. It's really thick, but like a concealer. Maybe a bit too much on. But it's not even melting into the skin. Like it's just moving around my skin. It's not sinking in. I don't like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in my branding bud and see if I can just blend it in a bit better. I look very white. I do not like this at all. It's just not blending well. It dries really cakey and it just seems to like grab every dry patch on your skin. So anywhere that's dry, it goes really patchy around it. This foundation stick gets the big thumbs down from me. It's horrible, like I've never worn a foundation like this. I would say for contouring, it would definitely be better. But as a foundation stick, I just do not like it on my skin. Like I've got dry patches all over my forehead or on my cheeks. Like, you can see every pore on my chin. And my nose is all patchy. It's just not flawless coverage at all. Um, so I'm going to take this off and put on a normal liquid foundation so I can do the rest of the review because there is no chance in how I'm going to be able to even lay even more makeup on top of this because it is so dry and patchy the rest of the makeup isn't going to work. Okay so I'm back and I've done my foundation I just used my Rimmel Match 
foundation in ivory and it matches my skin tone a lot better but I am gonna go back in and retry this as a contour stick now so I'm gonna try and do under my eyes with it I'm just gonna use a little bit and see how this style goes maybe it's better when it's laid onto product rather than as the whole thing so I'm not giving up on you. I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with the flat end. Okay, this is much better. It's a lot more blendable because it's mixing with the other products underneath, so the foundation. Oh my God. Much better. It still does give a little bit of a cakey look. It doesn't melt fully in. But I would say this is a much better use for this product. Yeah, 100% better. I definitely recommend the Flawless Foundation and Contour Stick as a contour stick. The pores on it is perfect for highlighting under my eyes and doing my T-zone. So I definitely prefer that product used as a contour stick. So I'm glad that I retried really it. Next up, I'm gonna try the eyeliner pencil. So I got this in dark brown and I love that it has the little brush on the end. I do prefer to use spoolies, but I am gonna give this brush a go and see if it's good. It's quite a good brush, but I would say a spoolie is better. So it would have been good to have a spoolie on the end. But I'm gonna give it a shot. I do use pencils, I use the Soap and Glory one, and then I use a powder on top, but I'm just gonna try with just the pencil today. So this was $2.49, which I think is amazing value for a darker pencil. I will say, just trying it on my hand, it's quite hard to do strokes. Like, you have to press really hard. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna be but look, you can see here, that's me pressing lightly like I would with my wax. You can hardly see the mic, you have to really push. And even then, with the pressure, you get hardly anything. So, not sure how this is going to turn out, but let's give it a go. Okay, now I can start to see a difference. So, maybe it's a buildable product. I think it's quite good actually compared to when I had it on my hand because it's buildable so it's not like a sharpie so I do think I actually really like this pencil but yeah I would actually say that this brow pencil is actually really good I was a bit dubious after drawing on my hand but I guess with the different angle not downwards it is actually easier to get colour payoff and it's not even any patches it's blended all in really well so actually, I'm really impressed with this. And um, yeah, and this actually gets a big thumbs up. It's really good value and the pigmentation and how you can build it up, I really like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow now. Okay, so I've done both brows now with brow pencil and I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to Straben. So I've got this Straben kit. I really like the package for this, so it's like a silver. You just put dirty hands all over it. So yeah, I just made it 10 times worse. So this was $7.99 and I like the packaging. So as you can see, darkest, lightest, and then medium. Let's give these a try. So I'm gonna try and use all these powders. Um, I may look like I've just done the highlighter challenge <laughs> but I'm going to try and use all of them so I can tell you what I think about the colours. So the first one I'm just going to go in with a powdered brush. I'm just going to pat it in underneath my eyes just to brighten up that area. It's a subtle glow which I like. Now I'm going to go with the dark colour with a fan brush and use it as like a bronze contour and we'll see how that goes. I 
actually really like this as a contour. I think it gives a really radiant bronzy glow. I mean, I don't think it's meant to be for contouring or bronzing, but I actually really like it. So lastly, I'm gonna go in with my finger in the middle one and use this as a highlight. Glow, glow, glow. That is a good highlight. Wow, I don't know if you can see that. That's striking. Love it. I love this highlighter. I am definitely glowing. <laughs> glowing for days. So for $7.99, I would say you need this. This is amazing. I've been able to do bronze, powder under my eye to illuminate that area and highlight all in one go. I mean, I think it is just for highlight for different skin tones, but I've managed to use all three. Like, I recommend this, girls. Huge thumbs up from me, that highlight. That glow is everything. Love it. So next, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow four shade palette. I got this in dark nudes. They didn't have the light nudes in stock in my store. And I didn't really like the look of the plum one. It's not one that I'd wear every day. So I got this and I love the colours. There's three matte and one shimmer. So this one's the shimmer and all the rest are matte. I love these two colours. So I'm really excited because this was only $4.99. That's a really good value. First of all, I love this colour. This transaction colour. Transaction. <laughs> Transition colour is really pretty. Okay, so I've just blended that out and I love this colour. So next I'm going to go in with this colour. Okay, I think this colour is going to be a no obsession. It's quite peachy and I love features at the moment. Oh yes. I'm just going up to my crease and bringing it all over the lid. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go in next with this darker matte to run it under the transition color in my actual crease. I really like these eyeshadow colours. It's not coming off on camera as well. But they blend so nicely. Then lastly I'm gonna go in with this shimmer colour and I'm gonna use it on the corner. Like all these colours work so well together. Ta-da! have a little bit of fallout but not a lot actually. So now I've done both my eyes I have to say I love this eyeshadow set. This I would definitely take this with me traveling like keep it in my handbag this would be like my quick morning routine shades and the peach really makes my eyes pop so I love this little palette. Definitely a big thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so next up I got a liquid eyeliner pen. I don't really use pens, eyeliner pens a lot. Um, I have started using them, but not a huge fan. I prefer the ones that you dip in. Um, but we will see how we get on. For 3 dollars I thought, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> The thing that I don't like about pens is they tend to dry out a lot. Um, so I hate all the shaking and putting the lid back on. Okay, first impressions. I'm gonna give it a little shake. Okay, that is really, really thin. 
Like, you could really go thin with that. I will say with this pen, you can get so close to the lash line. It's amazing. Okay, so far not so bad. It's really precise. I think it is actually called ink precision. <laughs> but it is actually really precise and it hasn't gone dry just yet. You can get a really thin flick with this pen. I've managed to get quite a thin flick. I really, really like this. Let me see if I can get you closer. Look how tight I've been able to get to my lash line. And the wing is pretty sharp. It's a really good eyeliner. The line is so precise. Like, if you're not very good at doing wing liner, definitely give this a go. And I have been able to get a really sharp wing. So I would say that this is actually really good. And for 3 dollars that is really good value for a liquid eyeliner pen. So yeah, big thumbs up. And I'm just gonna go off cam and do the other one. <laughs> okay, so next up I got these Ultra Volume False Lashes. They were £3.49 and as soon as I saw them I was like, I have to try them. I'd rather try this than mascara. Um, for £3.49 I thought two pairs. That's amazing value, like incredible value. And if they are decent, then I would definitely be stuck in art. Um, they do have an invisible band, like the Wispies that I wear. So that did attract me even more to them. The packaging is very similar to MAC lashes. So that also drew me towards them. So we will see. Let's have a go. <laughs> I mean, I did have a thought as well. Even if I don't like the lashes, I've still got a case to put my wispies in because that's one thing that I hate about the wispies is they don't come in a long lasting case or package. Um, as soon as you open the package, it's kind of open. They're not protected. Um, so even if I don't like these, also they don't come with glue. I mean, that's not an issue for me because I either use my duo glue anyway or this Allure Lash Fix glue. So I never really use the glue that they come with anyway, I keep them and then if I put lashes on a client I always give them the little tube, so not an issue for me at all, but if you don't have lash glue I would get some if you're going to buy these lashes. You can see the lash line is so thin, so thin, so hopefully they're going to be really flexible to work with and yeah. I'm going to put them on and let you know. Okay, so I've put the lashes on. I really like the lashes. The only thing, this one went on perfect. This one did take a bit of fiddling. It wasn't the most flexible to work with, but once they're on, I really, really like them. They look really natural, but still really long. I'm going to pop some mascara underneath. This isn't new look mascara. It's my Rimmel Scandalous Eyes Reloaded Mascara one that I just put on under lashes. So this is 5 dollars I've got this in nude pink and it's a super matte liquid lipstick. Look at that colour, it's so pretty. Let's try it out. Let's do it here. Oh wow. That's like a really peachy pink. Really peachy pink. So that goes perfect with my colour. I really like that colour. I picked this one because I haven't really got one like this. I wear a lot of like nudes, like brown nudes. Um, so I thought I would try this one. So I can say the applicator is really nice. It's really fluffy and soft and it goes on really smooth and easily. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I 
really like this colour. I don't normally wear this colour, I would say it probably doesn't match the best with the eyeshadows. And um, eyeshadow is pretty orangey and brown. But I would say this is a really pretty colour and I can see that in spring I would wear this a lot. It dries really really quick. It's not sticky either as it's drying and I would say it does give me full coverage. Like I don't feel like I'd have to go over this another layer. Um, it hasn't got patchy, it doesn't go crumbly, it hasn't like cracked near all my like lines in my lips. So I would say that this is a really good matte lipstick. And they do so many shades, there's so many shades you can pick from. So I would definitely give this a big thumbs up. And who doesn't think Rose Gum? Rose Gum? No way not. I really love this lip colour. So that is my new look, first impressions of the new makeup range complete. I really like all the products but the foundation stick. The foundation stick, it worked really well as a contour stick to highlight under my eyes and my down the middle areas. But as a foundation, I just found it too thick. It didn't melt into your skin and it just picked up every dry patch and pore like possible on your face just wasn't flattering on my skin tone and texture at all. So for that reason, I would give the foundation stick a thumbs down, but it was good for contouring. So for that side of it, I would give it a thumbs up. As for the eyeshadow palette, the eyebrows, lashes, liquid eyeliner and the lipstick, and especially that glow, like the strobe kit I think was just incredible, incredible value. But out of everything, I think my favorite product would definitely be a liquid lipstick. Like, I'm a big matte lipstick fan anyway, but I just think it goes on so nicely. It's not heavy. This color is so pretty. Perfect for spring and summer coming up. So for that reason, it's definitely my favorite product. So I have to say, thumbs up to new look, well done on your new range. Absolutely love it and I will definitely be buying more products. So let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite product and what product do you think you're gonna try or you have tried and loved? So that's all for today, bye.